This is part two of a two-part presentation. I would now like to talk about the referral guidelines for urological cancers. Can you go through when there should be urgent referrals for patients with suspected prostate, bladder and renal, testicular and penile cancer? Starting with prostate cancer, we should refer urgently patients with 1. A hard, irregular prostate, typical of a prostate carcinoma. PSA should be measured and the result should accompany the referral. An urgent referral is not needed if the prostate is simply enlarged and the PSA is in the age-specific reference range. We should also refer patients urgently with 2. A normal prostate but rising stroke raised age-specific PSA with or without lower urinary tract symptoms. In patients compromised by other comorbidities, a discussion with the patient or carer and or specialist may be more appropriate. And three, we should refer patients urgently with symptoms and high PSA levels. So that's patients with suspected prostate cancers. For patients with suspected bladder and renal cancers, we should refer urgently in four situations. One, patients of any age with painless macroscopic hematuria. Two, patients aged 40 years and older who present with recurrent or persistent urinary tract infection associated with hematuria. Three, patients aged 50 years and older who are found to have unexplained microscopic hematuria. And four, patients with an abdominal mass identified clinically or on imaging that is thought to arise from the urinary tract. Moving on to testicular cancer, we should refer urgently patients with a swelling or mass in the body of the testes. And finally, penile cancer, we should refer urgently patients with symptoms or signs of penile cancer. These include progressive ulceration or a mass in the glands or prepus particularly, but can involve the skin of the penile shaft. Lumps within the corpus cavernosa can indicate Perrineer's disease, which does not require urgent referral. Thank you. In the third section of this podcast, we're going to move on to discuss suspected haematological cancer, skin cancers and head and neck cancers. So starting with suspected haematological cancers, when should there be an immediate referral and when an urgent referral? We should do an immediate referral patients with a blood count stroke film reported as acute leukaemia and patients with spinal cord compression or renal failure suspected of being caused by myeloma. We should refer urgently patients with persistent unexplained splenomegaly. We now come on to suspected skin cancers. When does NICE advise urgent referrals in this area? We should refer urgently patients with suspected melanoma that have a lesion suspected to be a melanoma and what NICE says is excision in primary care should be avoided. For suspected squamous cell carcinomas, there's three situations where we should refer urgently. One, with non-healing keratinizing or crusted tumours larger than one centimetre with significant induration on palpation. They are commonly found on the face, scalp or back of the hand with a documented expansion over eight weeks. 2. Patients who have had an organ transplant and develop new or growing cutaneous lesions as squamous cell carcinoma is common with immunosuppression but may be atypical and aggressive, and three, with histological diagnosis of a squamous cell carcinoma. What does NICE have to say about basal cell carcinoma? NICE says basal cell carcinomas are slow-growing, usually without significant expansion over two months, and usually occur on the face. If basal cell carcinoma is suspected, refer non-urgently. Can you please outline the seven-point checklist for suspected skin cancer? There are three major features and four minor features. The three major features are change in size, 
irregular shape and irregular colour. The four minor features are largest diameter greater than 7 mm, inflammation, oozing and change in sensation. I'd now like to move on to suspected head and neck cancers. When should an urgent referral be carried out here? NICE advises we refer urgently in six situations. An unexplained lump in the neck of recent onset or a previously undiagnosed lump that has changed over a period of three to six weeks. Two, an unexplained persistent swelling in the parotid or submandibular gland. Three, an unexplained persistent sore or painful throat. Four, unilateral unexplained pain in the head and neck area for more than four weeks associated with earache but a normal autoscopy. Five, unexplained ulceration of the oral mucosa or mass persisting for more than three weeks. Six, unexplained red and white patches including suspected lichen planus of the oral mucosa that are painful or swollen or bleeding. For patients with persistent symptoms or signs related to the oral cavity in whom a definitive diagnosis of a benign lesion cannot be made, NICE advises refer or follow up until the symptoms and signs disappear. If the symptoms and signs have not disappeared after six weeks, make an urgent referral. NICE advises referring urgently to a dentist patients with unexplained tooth mobility persisting for more than three weeks. Monitor for oral cancer patients with confirmed oral lichen planus as part of routine dental examination and advise all patients, including those with dentures, to have regular dental checkups. NICE advises that we should refer urgently for chest x-ray patients with hoarseness persisting for more than three weeks, particularly smokers aged older than 50 years and heavy drinkers. If there is a positive finding on the chest x-ray, refer urgently to a team specialising in the management of lung cancer. If there is a negative finding on the chest x-ray, we should refer urgently to a team specialising in head and neck cancer. And NICE also advises we should do a non-urgent referral for patients with unexplained red and white patches of the oral mucosa that are not painful, swollen or bleeding, including suspected lichen planus. Thank you. We've now reached the fourth and final section of this podcast in which we discuss the referral guidelines for suspected thyroid cancer, brain and CNS cancer, bone cancer and sarcoma, as well as when children and young people should be referred. So Sunil, could you please go through what NICE advises about suspected thyroid cancer? We should refer immediately patients with symptoms of tracheal compression, including stridor due to thyroid swelling. We should do an urgent referral for suspected thyroid cancer, patients with a thyroid swelling associated with any of the seven following symptoms. One, a solitary nodule increasing in size. Two, a history of neck irradiation. Three, a family history of an endocrine tumour. Four, unexplained hoarseness or voice changes. Five, cervical lymphadenopathy. Six, very young prepubertal patient. Seven, patient aged 65 years and older. What is the advice about suspected brain and CNS cancer? We should refer urgently patients in four situations. The first is symptoms related to the CNS, including progressive neurological deficit, new onset seizures, headaches, mental changes, cranial nerve palsy, unilateral sensorineural deafness. So symptoms related to the CNS 
in whom a brain tumour is suspected. Number two, headaches of recent onset accompanied by features suggestive of raised intracranial pressure, for example, vomiting, drowsiness, posture-related headache, pulse synchronous tinnitus, or by other focal or non-focal neurological symptoms, for example, blackout, change in personality or memory. The third situation where we should refer urgently is patients with a new, qualitatively different, unexplained headache that becomes progressively severe. And the fourth situation is suspected recent onset seizures, in which case we should refer to a neurologist. We should consider urgent referral to an appropriate specialist in patients with rapid progression of 1. Subacute focal neurological deficit 2. Unexplained cognitive impairment Behavioural disturbance or slowness or a combination of these and 3. Personality changes confirmed by a witness and for which there is no reasonable explanation even in the absence of the other symptoms and signs of a brain tumour. What does NICE have to say about suspected bone cancer and sarcoma? For bone tumours, we should refer for an immediate x-ray a patient with a suspected spontaneous fracture. If the x-ray indicates possible bone cancer, we should refer urgently. If the x-ray is normal but the symptoms persist, we should follow up and or request a repeat x-ray, bone function tests or referral. For soft tissue sarcomas, we should refer urgently if a patient presents with a palpable mass that is greater than about 5 cm in diameter, deep to fascia, fixed or immobile, increasing in size, painful, a recurrence after previous excision. If a patient has HIV, we should consider Carposi sarcoma and make an urgent referral if suspected. In terms of urgent investigations for bone cancer and sarcoma, we should urgently investigate increasing unexplained or persistent bone pain or tenderness particularly pain at rest, and especially if not in the joint, or an unexplained limp. In older people, metastasis, myeloma or lymphoma, as well as sarcoma, should be considered. And what does NICE say about children and young people? We should consider referral when a child or young person presents with persistent back pain. An examination is needed and a full blood count and blood film. Persistent parental anxiety is sufficient reason for referral, even when a benign cause is considered most likely. We need to take into account parental insight and knowledge when considering urgent referral. We should refer urgently when a child or young person presents several times, for example three or more times, with the same problem but with no clear diagnosis. Investigation should also be carried out. There are associations between Down syndrome and leukaemia, between neurofibromatosis and CNS tumours, and between other rare syndromes and some cancers. We should be alert to the potential significance of unexplained symptoms in children with such syndromes. And for leukaemia and children of all ages, we should refer immediately children or young people with either unexplained petechiae or hepatosplenomegaly. Thank you. Both Sunil and I would like to emphasise again the importance of looking at the NICE website for the latest advice and we'd like to thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcast.